Hi, in this video I'd like to go through what you do about images. We've had a number of uh, people who are a little bit confused about what to do with images. So when you create your Web 3.0 website it will churn out these files for you. The index file, don't worry about the readme first, uh, the mail.php and then these three folders as well. And of course the images are in the images folder. So at the moment you've got the default images there. Now um, to put your own images there, let me show you what happens with, uh, for example, the image sets for the OTO first. Um, so what you would do is open up uh, any of the image sets that you like. So for example, we'll take the golf. Oh, by the way, before we do that, let's just let's just have a look at um, what the site looks like with the default images. Okay, so these are the default images, uh, and no. Okay, so let's go and change those. So we open the images folder for the site we've just created. Uh, go to one of the niche uh, template sets. Um, Control A to select all. Control C to copy. And then go back to the image folder that you've uh, got in your new website and uh, control V or paste them in. Now it's going to ask you to overwrite and you'll say yes you do want to overwrite them. Do it for all of the next, there's 15 images in all so you want to do it for all of them. Okay and that's done. Now all of the images uh, are changed so if we go back to the website here and refresh You see, all the images we wanted are are now there. So that's how to use a set of images uh, that came with the OTO. Uh, now, what I'll do is just show you how to do it with your own images. If you if you uh, want to use your own images or images from your client, okay, so all you would do is uh, in a uh, image editor like paint.net which is a free software you would um, well let's go to let's go to that folder that we've just uh, created it's called demo site isn't it here we go open up the images and let's say we want to change uh, the intro image so we'll open that now this is already uh, set to the correct size of course and so any any image that we want to uh, replace it with has to have the same name and the same size so the easiest way uh, to do that is um, open up another image so let's open up uh, uh, another image we'll go to The sets and we'll, we'll let's open a dog trainer. Okay, um, and you open up any, any image, and what you do is copy that image and paste it on top. Make sure you keep the same dimensions. Don't make, don't let the the size change, and and then just save it, make sure it's saved in the same name in the same folder, so now if we go back to the site that we've created take you to the top, refresh the site and you'll see the image has been changed to the dog image and so really it's that simple um, make sure that the names of the images stay the same unless in the software you change the names um, because changing the names of 
the images in the thumbs folder and also the fools folder um, can help with SEO now just so that you're aware the images in the thumbs folder and the fools folder they're both exactly the same it's just the thumbs images are half the size and how it works is this let me show you if you go to the images um, these are the thumbs images but when you click them to get the light box up these are now the fools images so they're, they're bigger and that's how the the images work um, hope that's clear if you have any questions at any time always feel free to contact our support thanks for watching